imagine that you're in the woods and a little bunny rabbit, let's make a little, little pink bunny rabbit here, is hiding in the woods. And, and, you, and you see it there. So it gets scared or whatever. This is my bunny rabbit. And the bunny rabbit leaves the woods. And I'm taking the woods with me there. Oops. Let me try and get the bunny rabbit without taking much else with me. Nope. Try again. Last time. All right, closest I'm going to get. So the bunny rabbit leaves the woods and starts running around to these bushes. All right, running around, running around, running around. And the thing is that you know it's going to hide under the bushes, but when it leaves the woods, right, you lose track of it. So it leaves the woods, hops under one of the bushes, and then, well, rabbits are fast and it's cold out and you lose track of it. So the question is, after like 20 minutes or so, let's say you, you, what you realize is that all you see are these single tracks of footprints that are going from each bush. How can you figure out which bush the bunny has to be under? Right? If each of these lines only represents one set of footprints, so never double back, never double tracked, uh, it just ran from bush to bush. If it started in the woods, where does it end up now? And if we think of this in terms of graph theory, right, the first vertice might be the woods. I'll draw a little, little graph over here. We have a line going to F, and then that's a ver vertice, and then G, I, and then H, E, and then we have the vertice going to C, branching down here. I'm just drawing a little graph of this bush um, and, the, and the, these bushes and the footprints. We have a connection to D, and then a connection to B, and then A, and so forth. I think that's the right graph. I just might have missed one connection here. There's F. There we go. So now here is F, G, H, G, I, H, E, D, C, B, and A. Okay. So if you want, you can solve this in terms of this graph right here, right? But I'm going to leave it in terms of woods and, and the footprints and the bushes because it's a little more fun for me. So, so what I'm going to do is label my vertices and their degree, just, just as I would, would if this was actually just a bunch of vertices and edges. So the woods are actually one of the vertices, don't, don't miss that one, and the degree of the woods is 1. The degree of this bush over here is 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four sets of footprints going to that bush, and two here, and we just keep going and labeling. And since we have one odd, we know we should find another odd set of footprints going into one of the bushes, two and two. Now as we get more familiar with the graph theory, we can see that there we know the answer already, right? Um, but let's just let's just talk about this problem. So if the bunny leaves the woods and goes to F, uh, what we can do is we can go this way to G or this way to C. It doesn't really matter at this point, but let's just make a choice. We go to G, come down to I, right? We can't go back now because there's only one set of footprints. The bunny could have gone this way. Keep going. Now we have some choices here. I'm going to go back up to F, back over to C, back to E, and then to D, back to C, and then walk around. And look, we end up at C. Well, you say, oh, well, the bunny could have went a different way. It might not be at C. Oh, well, then let's try that. So we'll draw another pair of footprints next to it. We go to F, and now instead of going to G, let's go to C. And we keep going up to A, back around, back to C, back down to D, over to E. Okay, now we have some choices here, so let's go this way. H, I, G, back to F, back to E, and then our last set of footprints leads us to C. So even if the bunny had gone that way, they have, they still end up at C. Well, you say, oh, there are more choices and more options. Well, we can keep doing this. But what's happening here is that we have two vertices of odd degree. We have the woods, and we have bush C. And the idea is that when you have two vertices of odd degree, you have to begin at one, and we know that was the woods, and end at the other. There's just no way around it. You can't finish at any of the even bushes along the way. And if you think about why, um, one argument I've been trying to make in, in some of these these discussions and videos is that, oh, well, the woods, we started there. So we had to leave the woods and we never came back. So we couldn't finish back in the woods. And then there are some vertices in the middle, some bushes or whatever. 
Well, in this case, let's say that this is bush C and here's the woods. Oops, woods. And there's some bushes in the middle. Well, the bunny hops to the bush here and leaves there. So anytime a bush has a degree of 2, we know it's no longer at the bush because it had to get there and leave. It can't be at the bush with an even degree. It can't be at this bush with an even degree because the bunny had to hop over and then leave. So it had to be at this bush over here, which in this case is C with a degree of 1. So in the simple model here, notice we have two bushes with an odd degree. If we knew we started at this one, we, could, we definitely have to end at this one. And you can't end at an even bush because, well, you have to go to and then leave that, that location as an even process. So how can we apply this reasoning to this more complicated situation in which there are five bunny footprint path, paths going uh, or, or, or seeming to connect to bush C? Well, if there are five sets of footprints, let's look at the pink ones here. The first path I think we made, or the second path. One of them would have to go to bush C, right? Because we left the woods and now at some point we have to go to bush C. And then we have to leave bush C, and that's, that's two sets of footprints. Then we have to come back, right, to bush C and then leave again. And at some point, right, we have to come back to it. So that means there is one two sets of footprints going to it, and two leaving. So that fifth set, the extra set, has to always be one set of footprints going to this location. And you say, well, well how do you know that? Couldn't it be um, that we left Bush C first, came back to it, left it, came back to it, left again? Yes, it could be, but, but not in this case because we left the woods. So C could be the starting or ending point because there's always one extra path, either one extra coming to it, or one extra leaving. That's why that, that's what an odd number of paths represent. But since you knew that you started at the woods, you now know that the extra set of footprints going to this bush is also uh, the extra set of footprints is a set of footprints going to this bush, not leaving it. All right. Hope that helped.